This program was paid for by Water of Life Church. From Water of Life Ministries in Plano, Texas, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob is speaking through his servants to the world. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying today. Let us join Doyle Davidson and others of Water of Life, sowing the Word of God in spirit and in truth. Hello, I'm Doyle Davidson, servant and apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, ministering globally to the body of Christ in Dawson, Fort Worth, Texas. Send by God to your house to declare to you the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Verse Corinthians 15, 3 and 4, tells us what the gospel is. How that Jesus Christ died by our sins. According to scripture, he was buried. He rose again the third day, according to the scripture. Amen. Spirit of the Lord upon me. So anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Sent me to heal the broken heart. Preach the livers to the captives. Come to sight to the blind. Set at liberty. And let it break. Thank God. Amen. The word is not even in your heart, in your mouth, is a word of faith, which I preach. You confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus. Believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You shall be saved with the heart, and believe it under righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made under salvation. Thank God. Amen. Amen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. There's a power of God under salvation. Everyone who believes it, to the Jew first, also to the Greek. There is is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, and it is written, the just shall live by his faith. I want to welcome everyone receiving this broadcast on live stream, Roku, TV. YouTube, and other devices. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Kathy Davidson, my co-host, on my left. Good evening. And how are you? We're doing great. And Brian Bonner, co-host, on my right. And how are you? I'm well. I'm doing great. I... I have received some news that a long time friend from Bells, Texas, Bobby Burgess, has gone to be with the Lord. I can only say I would believe the bells of heaven are singing. Bring it. Amen. 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 Ready? Are we ready? More songs? Yeah. Right? Yes, sir. Let's go. Amen. Awake, awake, pull on my strength, Rosanna. Awake to the righteousness and sin. Let 
kete he. Ha la ba sata he. Kalome keta. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My Father and my God. Amen. Jehovah. Hallelujah. My Father and my God. Jehovah. Amen. We worship you. We pray to you. Thank you that you would choose us. Thank you. We didn't choose you. Thank you. You chose us. Thank you. And you have sent us Thank you. to the four corners Thank you. of the earth. Thank you. Thank you. My friend, Brian Butter, Hallelujah. will now lead us in a prayer to the national part of the world. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Solamata kelebete to lobo shata. Kiloboto lebe ke se te la malaka yebe ke ho. Lorobato lobo ke te ke. Shilobata na lobo ta te ke lebe ko so to. Sande lebe ke bele ko shata. Liboto lobo ko se te lebe he. Lande elko yo koya ba se ke lebe he. Lana raba tata la ba ka si te lebe ke he. Lobo yo se te ke. Landa la bata ke olobo ho. Bi ye ke se te. Lo bo yo to lana kaya ba se ke. Solo bo to to ye lebe ke he lebe he. Landa ba sata ya ba kaya be ke te ke olo ho. Landa la bata ta la ba se ke lebe he. Li bo yo to landa la ba ke ke lebe he. Shodo lo bo se te. Li bi kanda ya ba ta. Lord of Okoto, Yelebekete, Sadaba Yatan, Nanabata Tahai. Father, we thank you and we praise you for the privilege you've given us this evening to worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank you for your anointing and your presence. And we give you honor and praise for your will being done in this place and all over the world. We thank you that your spirit is moving to draw men to you, to serve you in righteousness and true holiness. And Lord, we give you honor and glory because you raised your son, Jesus from the dead. Hallelujah. And we thank you for his precious blood that has redeemed us from the curse of the law. We thank you that you instituted a new covenant, a covenant of grace and mercy. And we thank you for your grace and truth that you brought to us through Jesus Christ. We thank you that his blood also justified us. And we now stand boldly in your presence because of your love and your grace. Thank you, Father, that you've sanctified us and you've made us holy to reign and rule in this life through Christ Jesus. We thank you that you've granted us eternal life and we will always be forever with you. And Lord, we give you praise and we thank you that you've purged our sins. You've cleansed us and washed us in your blood. We thank you that now we have been granted privilege and authority and we now are no longer under the bondage of sin and fear. We thank you and praise you that we are now righteous and we're your righteousness as we walk by faith. Thank you, Father, for the victory. And thank you that you overcame the world and gave us a pattern that we might overcome the world with you. We bless you and we give you the glory. Thank you, Father, for the victory. Thank you for your spirit moving in the earth. And thank you for the gospel. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. open their eyes. Thank you. Turn them from darkness to light. Turn them from the power of Satan to God. Minister forgiveness for their sins. Minister the inheritance among the sanctified ones that are sanctified by the faith of Jesus Christ that's in me. Amen.
Amen. How's it? How are you? Amen. I'm doing well. Are you ready for me? Why, well, certainly. The Hi. world, the world's ready for you. <laughs> I don't think so, but that's all right. Oh all right. yes, they are. <laughs> They'll get ready. They'll get ready. There you go. If you will turn with me to Joshua. Glory. All right, I'm going to begin in chapter six, Thank you. and. Uh, I'm going to go about this in a strange way, so just ride with me, all right? Joshua 6, verse 1. Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went in and none came out. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given unto thine hand Jericho and the king thereof and the mighty men of valor. And you shall compass the city, all you men of war, and go round the city once. Thus you shall do six days. And the seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets, of ram's horns, and the seventh day you shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets. And it shall come to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when you hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall down flat, and the people shall ascend every man straight before him. Jesus. And Joshua, the son of Nun, called the priests and said unto them, and this is where I want to get to, take up the ark of the covenant. Take it up. It says, and let the seven priests bear seven trumpets of ram horn before the ark of, uh, of the Lord. And he said unto the people, pass on and compass the city. And let him that is armed pass on before the ark of the Lord. Notice the ark of the Lord was there with them. Amen. They took it out of the tabernacle and it went with them. Hallelujah. Why did the ark of the covenant go with them? Because God promised he'd be with the ark. He was not in the ark. God is too big to be in the ark. Oh, oh, and his presence wasn't in or on it, but he was with the ark. Amen. And when they met him in the holiest of holies, he said, my presence will be on the, on the mercy seat. Yes. You're not going to be in the ark, yes. but his presence will be there. But Amen. you know, God, is, it, it is written, he's everywhere. Yes. But he promised to meet them on top of the ark. So this ark Amen. that has God with it, Amen. the spirit of God with it, Amen. goes with these men in Jericho. Amen. So you got the ark, and you got God with the ark, Amen. and you got the priests, and you got the horns, and let's go on. And it came to pass when Joshua had spoken unto the people that the seven priests bearing the seven trumpets of the ram's horn passed on before the Lord, before the ark, and blew with the trumpets and the ark of the covenant of the Lord followed them. So it went with them the whole time. Yes. That ark was with them. And it says, and the armed men went before the priest that blew with the trumpets, and, reward, and the rear reward came after the ark. And the priest going on, blowing with the trumpets. And Joshua commanded the people, saying, You shall not shout. You shall not make any noise with your voice. Neither shall any word proceed out of your mouth until the day I bid you shout, and then you shall shout. Amen. So the ark, the God with them. God was with them, with the ark. God was with them, with the ark. So the ark of the Lord compassed the city. The ark compassed the city. Not just the people, the ark went with them. Amen. And it compassed the city, going about it once. And they came into the camp and lodged in the camp. And I'm going to keep reading because it's so fun. When Joshua rose early in the morning and the priest took up the ark of the Lord. Here goes the ark again. It was in the tabernacle. Now it's gone with the people. And the seven priests bearing seven trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the Lord went on continually and blew with the trumpets. And the armed men went before them. But the real reward came after the ark of the Lord, the priests going on and blowing with the trumpets. And the second day they compassed the city once and returned into the camp. And so they did this six days. And it came to pass on the seventh day. They rose up early about the dawning of the morning, the Amen. day, compassed the city after the same manner seven times. The ark was with them. They took the ark every time, and the priests bore the ark. It says, only on that day they compassed the city seven times. And it came to pass at the seventh time, when the priests blew with the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, shout, shout, for the Lord has given you the city. Amen. And the city shall be accursed, even it and all that is therein to the Lord. Only Rahab the harlot, oh, the Rahab the harlot got saved, shall live. And all the men that all that were with her in the house, because she hid the messengers that we sent, and you in any wise keep yourselves from the accursed thing, lest you make yourselves accursed. Amen. When you take the accursed thing and make the camp of Israel curse and trouble it. But all the silver, the gold, the vessels of brass and iron are consecrated unto the Lord, and they shall come into the treasury of the Lord. So the people shouted when the police when the priest blew with the trumpet, and it came to pass, when the people heard the sound of the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout. Amen. 
Now remember the ark is with them. Amen. The, the wall fell down flat. So the people went up into the city, every man straight before him, and they took the city. Now I want to tell you, I, wanna, I want you to consider this. The ark was with them. The ark Amen. was made of wood and covered in gold. Yes. That's all it was. Mm -hmm. It was a wooden box, pretty wooden box, covered in gold, yeah. two golden angels on top of it. Man made. Yes. Man made box. Amen. Had had the sticks that the, you know, that the priest carried him. So this man-made box, what made it so special? God was with it, Amen. right? God was with Amen. the box. Preacher, sister. Yes. Now go with me to Hebrews 10. Hallelujah. Hebrews 10. Amen. Verse nine, uh, I'm sorry, Hebrews 9, verse 19. For when Moses had spoken every precept to all the people according to the law, he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and high salt and sprinkled both the book and all the people, yes. saying, this is the blood of the testament which God has enjoined unto you. Now this next Amen. verse is what I want to get to. Moreover, Amen. he sprinkled with blood, he sprinkled with blood, both the tabernacle and all the vessels of the ministry. Amen. Do you know they had to sprinkle that ark with blood? Mm -hmm. They had to sprinkle every vessel that they used in the tabernacle with blood. Hallelujah. I remember when I was younger thinking, well, what a mess that must have looked like. <laughs> you had this beautiful ark, all this gold, and, you know, all seraphims and all this gold. Now you got blood sprinkled all over it. I mean, now I've spent my time, you know, wiping blood off the floor. Amen. All right. Now, it, so let's go to verse 22. And almost all things are by the law purged with blood. Amen. And without the shedding of blood is no remission. Do you know that God could not get near that ark until it was sprinkled with blood? Amen. Why? It had to be sanctified. Amen. He couldn't use the altar until it was sprinkled with blood. Why? It had to be sanctified. Come on. He couldn't use the basins. He couldn't use the water basins. They couldn't use the tabernacle. They couldn't use any of the instruments in the tabernacle. They couldn't use the candlesticks. They couldn't use the table. They couldn't use the book of the covenant. They couldn't use anything in that ark until it was sprinkled with blood Amen. and sanctified. Amen. You know why? When I was thinking about this, a term came up in my heart I haven't, I haven't remembered in years. My mother used to say, get your grubby little hands off of that. <laughs> it was yeah. man-made. Yep. It was a fleshly object. I and it was it. an object. It wasn't a person. They're objects. They're vessels. They're objects. But they had to be sanctified before God could get near them Jesus. before God could use that ark uh, it had Jesus. to Amen. be sanctified Jesus. you see where I'm going Jesus. oh yes next verse it says 23 it was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with these mm -hmm. but the heavenly things themselves with better sacrifices than these Amen. For Christ is not entered into the holy place made with hands, which are the figure of the true, not made by grubby little fingers. It says, but unto heaven itself now to appear in the presence of God for us. Yes. Not yet that he should offer himself often, as the high priest entered into the holy place every year with the blood of others. For then he must have suffered since the foundation of the world. But now, once, Hallelujah. in the end of the world, has he appeared Hallelujah. to put away sin by the sacrifice of of himself. Amen. Of himself. Amen. Turn the page. Amen. If you go to chapter 10, um, it says, verse 9, Then he said, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. Yes. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Was he talking about the covenant? By which will, the yes. will of God, we are sanctified Glory. through the offering of the blood, the body, of Jesus Christ yes. once and for all. Amen. Do you know Amen. what that blood does to a human? Mm. The blood of Jesus, it purifies them so they can be used yes. by God. Yes. That is sanctified. Being used 
by God. But God can't use it until it's sanctified, until it's Hallelujah. purified. Go down to verse 29. Hallelujah. It says, and there's a, there's, a, there's a truth in here in this verse, but we sometimes miss it because of the first part. It says, how much sore punishment suppose you shall he be thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God? And this is the next part is what I want to get to. And has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified. Amen. Wherewith he was sanctified. Amen. Wherewith he was purified to where the Father could use him. Hallelujah. It says, sanctified an unholy thing and has done despite under the spirit of grace. Now, you know, it has been in the, in the, in the so-called church that that can all happen in one time. That you can be sanctified instantly. Ah, I want to read you a verse. Second Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 21. And this is talking, Paul is talking to Timothy. And he's talking about issues that people have. And I want, let's begin in verse 20. He said, but in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver and of wood and of earth, some to honor, some to dishonor. Mm -hmm. But verse 21, if a man therefore purge himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meek. For the master's use. Do you see sanctification right here in this verse? Is not a one-time thing. You got to be purged. That's right. It's got to have purging. And I tell you what, you don't want to be purged all at once because you'll be dead. <laughs> all right. Oh yeah. We are not purged instantly. We are oh, yeah. purged as we walk in the light. But you know what that does? You know what that purging does? It makes us sanctified. Oh, yeah. It makes us a vessel. Unto oh, honor that God can use. Hallelujah. We have to be sanctified. It is not enough to walk in the gospel. It's not Jesus. enough to just believe the gospel. You've got to believe what the gospel did. Yes. And you've got to have what the gospel did do to you. Yeah. Not oh. just hear it. You've got to walk it. And you Hallelujah. have to be sanctified. You have to be purified with the blood Amen. of Jesus so you can be used. Hallelujah. Now, I will tell you that sanctification hurts. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes it really hurts. Come on. Come on. You're not allowed to respond back because <laughs> you'd like to. With words, then you'd have to be sanctified from again. All right? It says, but if a man therefore purge himself from these, how do you purge yourself? You walk in the gospel, and you walk in the blood of Jesus, and you let God lead you, and he will purge. Oh, you know what? He wants to purge. And you know, the, what, the, what does it say in 2 Corinthians? It says this treasure in an earthen vessel. Amen. Do you know the same God that was with that ark, that went with those warriors, that went with the Israelites, that same God, that same spirit that was with the ark, when you are purged and sanctified will be in you. Yes. To where God can use us. Amen. Right. And you know what the wonderful thing is? He doesn't wait till we're all all perfect before he uses us. Yes. Thank God. But that's the goal, folks. That is the goal, to be perfectly sanctified Hallelujah. unto the Father. Amen. And I'm going to stop there. Hallelujah. Great. Did you know Phoebe Palmer Thank God. taught a lie? Yes, she did. She spoke. Sanctification was a one-time experience. She deceived many. They're still deceived today with the very same doctrine. But sanctification is a process. And then Second Timothy says that, yes. Oh, yeah. Take up your cross daily and follow Jesus. Amen. 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 What else you want me to say? <laughs> We've got about 16 minutes left. Oh, really? <laughs> My God. Jesus. I grew up in a church. A bunch of Methodists, B.B. Palmer, 
was a Methodist. They were deceived. Northern Methodists, Methodists, Episcopal, all the time. They were blind. They didn't believe the word. They were saved by the name of Jesus. They didn't have a revelation of the gospel. They were a bunch of self-righteous people. Self-righteous people. They were holier than thou people. Their righteousness was as filthy rags. I knew them. My father employed some of them. They were righteous in their own eyes. Sad. I love to talk to them. They were so deceived a young boy could question them. And they'd give stupid answers. And as a young boy, I made a decision. I lived on an aunt's farm at her house. She had gone to heaven. And not very far down the road was what we call a tailing pile, a gravel pile, white chat with mines. It was taller than the tree. It was huge. One day, my father took my older sister, Dorothy, and I, and we climbed the southwest side of that gravel pile. We climbed to the top. We could see certain uh, indications that it might be a shaft, open something that you wouldn't want to get in. We stayed away from that. Mm -hmm. But we climbed. A few times, our brother let us climb. One day, I climbed to the top. I believe Dorothy was with me. She said, I stood on top, I looked north, I looked west, I looked south, I looked east. There wasn't a tree taller than that pile of gravel. I stood there as a young Davidson. And I thought, one day I'm leaving this place and I'm not coming back. Nobody ever knew that with me. One day I left. Oh, I go back, but I don't stay. I don't stay. I saw what religious people could do to you. I talked to my father, who had faith in 
back. No, the rest of them there. I said, Dad, please tell me, why do you stay here? He said, Doyle, I've searched out several churches, different denominations. They're all alike. You have? They're all alike, Doyle. If I knew where to go, I'd be going. But I don't know. Huh. I didn't know that my father was telling me there aren't any. Amen. One day, when I was 37, 38 years old, a practicing veterinarian, primarily, specializing in horses every chance I could get. The Lord said, that's enough. You're going to obey me. He said, I'm going to give you a ministry like my sons. I'm going to give you a ministry like my sons. And I don't have anybody but you to do it. Amen. I said, if you don't have anybody with me, you're out of subject matter. You don't, you don't have any help. Because I don't even want to do it. Guess what? He took someone that didn't want to do it. Somebody that couldn't do it. Someone that was without the ability to do it. But one day he took that person with the ability he had and he started putting his talents in him. Amen. Putting his talents in him. And that ability that I had that person is me, was the ability to walk in his talents. And there I am. <laughs> what can I say? Nothing. Just Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord. Lord of all, he was, he suffered, he was fine, and then he was tempted, and through his sufferings, he was made perfect. Hallelujah. And he became the captain of our salvation, Amen. the author of eternal salvation. The name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 You know what? I'd like to hear Paul Peters. Amen. Saying, Jesus paid it all. Amen, sir. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank you. I hear the same. Savior say, thy strength indeed is small, child of weakness watch and pray, find in me thine all in all. Lord,
cuts yeah <laughs> but you're gonna come out alive yes, right. in Jesus Glory. alive in Jesus amen oh what a way to walk alive in Why Jesus man? I'll tell you folks I'm gonna tell you how you can get in this walk you just have to confess one thing that's Jesus. That's all. 
just Jesus. And you can get in the walk. As my friend Terry Bai used to teach, you have to walk what you talk. He's in heaven. Amen. So, if you would just follow along with me and confess that Jesus, just speak Jesus, that's all. And you'll be saved. Amen. Just one name. No others. Just one. Speak it after me and be saved. Jesus. 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 Hmm. Amen. Did I? Did you approve? It you says, let, "Let the prophet speak." Two or three. Let the others judge. <laughs> what do you two think? I'm not a prophet. <laughs> Prophetess. Yeah. God bless you. Amen. See you tomorrow. Praise God. We invite you to visit Water of Life Church at 1621 18th Street in Plano, Texas. Or for further information, call area code 972-578-8082. That's 972-578-8082. Or write Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas 75086. That's Doyle Davidson, Post Office Box 861327, Plano, Texas, 75086. This program was paid for by Water of Life Church.